Aloha, my beautiful friends and fans on the other side of the screen. My name is Krista Ralaksmidita and coming to you from beautiful Texas, where it's getting really, really hot. Time to leave, right? <laughs> so um, I am a wellness and relationship coach. I have been a coach over 20 years and I have tried it all. I've been energy coach, I've been a healing coach, I've been a life coach, I've been um, also uh, aura coach in a way, um, mental and also mindset coach. I have been an adventure retreat leader. Uh, I have been online courses, uh, creator and leader and so many more things. So uh, I have a lot of experience and lots of expertise. But today I wanted to talk to you about one big insight which I just got yesterday and it's just so big to keep it to myself. I did a longer post about it but I know also that many people may not be uh, so fond of reading so I'll do it also in the video version. So what happened yesterday was that I watched, watched uh, Vishen Lakhiani's um, uh, amazing videos I do that right now because I'm preparing for Mind Valley University. So I want to like read and do some uh, extra additional preparing so that I would be also like uh, kind of accustomed to uh, what the topics are and, and so on. So, and, and can easily also like jump into conversations and so on. So uh, in that particular video, uh, he was actually talking about the culture of companies. And one of the things which really stood out for me was when he was talking about, you know, if you want to really understand what your main value is, and then also connect it um, to something else, it's very important that you basically go back in time and figure out what's the first biggest, you know, hurt or pain, which you remember from, from your own personal life. And when I went back in my life, and the first biggest one, which I remember was when I was six years old and one of my family members was actually misusing me sexually. And also I got the sexual disease because of that. So later my grandmother uh, got hands on it right away. So she was the reason why we got like uh, healed uh, very quickly uh, from that. And then, um, you know, sadly, but also this also happened to my sister at the same time. So what happened once this, you know, okay, I got physically healed pretty quickly, but emotionally as well, like other ways, it took me over 20 years to get like really to the core bottom of that topic. And in 2005, I started to work with inner child. And you may have heard about the inner child, you know, through Carl Gustav Jung, who has been uh, talking about um, and also popularize, popularizing inner child archetypes, so to say. And then um, as the time was going by, what happened was also that um, I started to connect with my inner woman. Then I started to connect with my inner man. And then they all came together. And then as they came together, I manifested my amazing king, Michael, who I actually now have been married to uh, basically uh, five years this summer. So we are celebrating five years. Amazing. This is the longest relationship I've ever had in my life. And there are so many reasons why this is a success. So now I also like I fully I feel like um, I can call myself a relationship coach because I also have a fully functioning, happy relationship and marriage, you know. Uh, so uh, when I was thinking about that, what was uh, really interesting was many people when you have this like, you know, pain. What happens, you try to like, you know, put it away, hide it away, suppress it and so on. And we never know that the biggest gift this is actually is giving us a guidance. What is our mission here on this planet? So when you come to um, the program uh, in the relationship transformation process program with me, one of the modules we go through with the inner woman is also we are actually going to look into that and trying to figure out and pinpoint what is your pain as well so that we can actually bring it together and see how this may connect to your life mission and your life, life uh, purposes, because your life purposes create your life mission. And when I looked back, I was like, oh my God, this totally makes sense. Why I'm now working with basically inner family archetypes, 
because as a six-year-old, I felt I was so misused. My power to uh, take care of my intimacy was misused. I was not asked if I want to do this. I was just like overridden that way. There was no safety. There was no, I had no idea what was actually going on, right? So what if as a five-year-old, someone would have told me that, you know, if someone tries to do this or touch you there or push you do anything you don't want to do, you need to scream or ask for help. And um, where would I be then? You know, it would be a different story. Yeah, well, maybe because of that, there would be no like inner family coaching program right now. <laughs> so it's like so-so, but you know, you get the point here, right? So, so I got into that and I went even deeper today. I was like, wow, this is so amazing. So what is it I'm doing now? And what is it I'm like teaching people? I'm actually helping them to come to this program and reparent yourself through healing your inner child, inner woman, inner man, and then fully integrating, rebuilding and resetting and fully integrating all of them so that after you've done this and 90 days program, you come to the other side. And what happens is that you are totally fully rooted into your own power. You know why you are here on the planet. You know why you want to do something. And no one can do any bullshit to you anymore because you know how to set your boundaries, how to be authentic, how to live your life, you know, purpose, uh, purposes and mission. So uh, imagine how that life would be. And Today, I'm actually even showing extra gratitude to this family member that he was playing a big role in my development and in my, you know, processes and so on. I am also here to help to heal the wounds which so many of us have. So far, I have not met a single person who would have like a fully happy childhood had like no wounds whatsoever. So we didn't like grow up in a world like that. Yes, now we have much more like conscious parenting and courses and classes and books and so on. But when I was born in 1976, that wasn't the norm. So our parents were doing the best they could with what they had. And that could create lots of wounds because they were wounded themselves. They were hurt themselves. So now we need to do the, you know, corrections we have to go back and fix these things and some people they die you know unhappy lonely hungry inside for love and care and attention and they will never meet their inner family archetypes and their life will be so empty so lonely and i'm here to bring you the message that it doesn't need to be that way you can actually um, you know start to connect with your inner child inner woman inner man and then also find out what is your pain point, how this actually is having your biggest treasure, your life mission hidden below that. And then even if you don't know how it can unfold or how it has been unfolding, if you have a coach like me, I can actually help you to see it and also to maybe guide you to those next steps where you can actually uh, figure it out. It doesn't happen overnight, maybe, but it will definitely be much faster than when you just try to reinvent your wheel. And this is why, why I'm here on this planet still. When I was going on to the next phase, where was the next deepest pain in my life moment? That moment was when um, my ex-partner, my uh, the father of my son came home and said, sorry, I don't love you anymore. And for me, that time we had built our relationship. We had gone through so many difficulties. It was the end of the fourth year together. And I couldn't believe this was like collapsing. And I felt such a big failure. I had no meaning to life and I wanted to kill myself. And that moment, I called to a lifeline, uh, phone line, and that moment on the other side, the woman on the other side said, think of your son. My son was two and a half years old only. Think of your son. When you kill yourself, he will have no mother. If you keep yourself going and, um, you know, going on, he still will have the mother, even if you will be, you know, far away or in another country or whatever, he still has you. He still has you as a resource. He still has you. 
And that was also, I was in a critical moment. It was a critical family situation. And because I didn't have any idea how to work with my inner family archetypes, if I would have, I wouldn't have even ended up in that situation. I would have gone from that you know, relationship long ago. But because I was just hanging on to this idea that I can make this work, I can fix it, I can fix it, you know. I was losing many years of my life, maybe, and many years of my partner's life as well, you know. So I realized even deeper, like, oh, my God, this is, you know, why this also happened. So that I could have even deeper, you know, the family drama, the family conflict, so that I could have that experience, you know. I had to leave my son temporarily with my partner at the time because I suddenly had no place to live. I had no job. I had no money. And I don't even know how I survived this time. There was like a period of four months where I had nothing and then um, figured out how to get out of it. And one of the keys getting me out of it was that I realized, wow, I have skills. I have talents inside of me. And once I put it into work, these can start to actually serve me. They can actually help me to start to like also create money. And that was the turning point, you know, and then that's how I started to um, rebuild my life step by step, you know, and that takes a lot of strength, you know. I have gone through this really painful road, a really painful journey, traveling to 30 countries, 14 years looking for my Mr. Right, you know, and then realizing there's no Mr. Right. I found my king. I found my spirit mate, which is even better, you know. And now we have built a sustainable relationship where every day I feel so grateful I have this amazing man next to me who comes with his sexy voice, and he's waking me up every morning with a kiss and a hug. And he's so full of love and care, who attracts all the cats in the neighborhood to come to our house, you know, or our lives. And the kittens get pregnant around us because there is so much love. We don't want kids. So the love needs to manifest somewhere, right? So we get the kittens, we find them a good family, you know, stuff like that. It's an amazing. And there will be many more videos and uh, also posts where I'll talk a little more about how I got to this beautiful, amazing relationship. And we will do many more also uh, workshops and play shops and retreats in the future together. But for now, I leave you here. Think back, go back into your life. Think of three main pain points, the biggest pain points, which basically got you to the point almost also you know, um, basically, you know, killing yourself. Um, okay, when I'm asking free, I'll give you my free one, uh, the third one as well. So the third one for me was a moment where someone else wanted to kill me. And that was a really a crucial point where I understood I had got to that point because I didn't trust my inner woman. Then I already was connected with, with my inner woman. And also that I didn't do the things which I was supposed to. I acted out of fear. I started to create my life out of fear. And I had to lean fully back on, do my talents and mission. So you see the pain and talents, they have been like going in line with each other kind of um, parallel all my life. I just never kind of uh, got the dots together. So vision, thank you so much for this beautiful, you know, starting the process of uh, getting all these pot spots together. As uh, Steve Jobs often times said, we may not understand how they all are like hanging together or to make sense, but as we do uh, go along, uh, we will. So think of those three things, which were the most painful, thing, painful things in your life. Uh, write the situation out, like what happened? What situation was it? What kind of conflict was it? Um, what drama was it? And then you can start to like um, excavate a little bit and you will start to understand what's hidden below. And who knows if uh, many of you also give me those th three different versions underneath this uh, post here. And I see at least five to 10 people do that. I may do a special workshop where you can come and we can find out what that is. And then you already have a little North Star, where to move and how to move towards it. 
And then your life will be so much more aligned because you will not be that boat who is lost at sea. And I am here, but I can't do all of the work for you. You have to do a little bit um, yourself as well. So let's say I'll put a little deadline as well to that homework. Find three most painful um, points in your life Share what those are in the comment. If you don't want to do it publicly, you can share it um, privately with Facebook Messenger for me um, and um, share it and do it by the 10th of uh, June. If you do it by the 10th of June and we have at least 10 people doing that, then I will put together a mini course about that same very thing, how to find your life mission through the pain you have had in your life and how to set that North Star into the position so that you can start to create that momentum, uh, forward momentum. So there is always a two-way street. Um, I can talk here, I can throw out these posts and videos, but if there is no communication, no feedback, nothing will change. So if you want to change your life, do this little homework, share it with me, and then let's see, by the 10th of um, June, I will come back to this, you have 10 days to do this and then we'll see if something else will happen or not. So thank you for your attention. And if you know at least five people who would get massive value from this beautiful little sharing and uh, video, please share it and also tag me with Coach Crystal Ra. And um, so I can also see where it pops up and know that when you share it, it may help and also may someone have some insights today as well. Thank you so much for being in my circles. Thank you for sharing the message. And I so hope uh, we can also meet with some of you this summer in Estonia or uh, sooner also somewhere else in the world because I will continue to travel a lot. So thank you so much. Lots of aloha and enjoy the home play. <laughs> Bye.